Hey guys, today I'm going to attempt to fix some of the paint on the roof rail of my car that's chipping off. So it's been coming off for a while now and I've been putting off painting it just because of um, the process of having to remove it and sand down the existing paint before I can repaint it again. But today I've kind of decided that I've had enough of it and I'm just going to tackle it. It's about 30 degrees today so it's quite hot outside. It's probably not the best day to be doing this but I'm going to try anyway. So here's where the paint is coming off. All of here is just peeling and the other side for some reason seems to be absolutely fine but on here where there's some paint started coming off in the corner this um, corrosion is just kind of spread and it's all just working its way off um, revealing the metal underneath so it doesn't look very nice and you can see it from quite far away so I'm gonna try and remove this today and get it sorted and I know these clips are quite prone to breaking and I called BMW to find out the price of replacing them and it's £25 for the clips for both sides or well, £25 for one side actually which is quite expensive so if I broke all the clips going down this could cost like up to £50 so I'm going to try and be really careful removing it and get started so I'm, I can't really film this with one hand so I'm just going to try and use the screwdriver and pry off the whole rail going along because I'm going to be as careful as possible. I've put some tape around the edge of here so that it doesn't scratch the paint as I'm doing it. So let me try. gotten them off the car now it's surprisingly a lot easier than I thought and one good thing I've noticed about these clips is that there's about three of them on each clip so even though about half the time they were snapping off when I was removing it there still should be enough support to keep it on the car when I put it back on so that should save me the 50 pounds that I was gonna spend on buying these clips from BMW so hopefully they stay stable enough when they're on the car and I can paint them and put them back on with ease yeah there's even some well not some there's quite a lot of dirt that's just trapped down in there because you can see the old clips that have come off so I'll just clean all of this out and give it a good wash what I had in mind before I took this on was to paint the roof wells silver or the same silver as the car to match the color of it because I thought that might look a lot better but when I had a closer look at the design of the roof wells, I noticed that there were rubber strips on the side of them, on which is different from the design of the ones that have the, um, the colours the same, same as the car from the factory. So it meant that I wasn't able to paint it a different colour because the paint that would have been on the rubber wouldn't have lasted. So I masked off all of the rubber with masking tape so that none of the gloss paint that I was going to use would get onto it. So I picked up the paint from Alfred's, it was the standard gloss bag paint available there and I sanded down the paint from the roof rails so it was down to the bare metal. So this was to make sure that none of the paint underneath would carry on corroding and cause an issue when I've got the new paint on top of it. So I spent time removing all of the existing paint using an electric sander until there was none left and after doing this I cleaned down the metal with um, of rubbing alcohol so that there was no dirt left on there and no traces of any of the old paint. So once I was happy I then went on to painting it. Removing the existing paint with an electric sander was a little bit tedious but much easier than it would have been to do it by hand with a sanding block. I started off with a lower grit and then I moved on to a higher one once I'd removed all the paint. After I finished sanding, I just cleaned it down and then reapplied the masking tape. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit record when the first bit of paint touched the bare metal, but this is shortly after just applying the second coat of paint on. I think I did about four or five coats of paint and then just finished off the, the can. So I wanted to make it as thick as possible so that it wouldn't start to chip off in the future. I 
Here's what it looked like once the paint had dried. I was really happy with the result, although when I removed the masking tape there were still some bits that got covered that I had to then repaint again. So that little bit of touching up actually ended up affecting the final finish, but it still ended up looking good. Here's what it looks like on the car. Um, the bits that I was talking about that I had to touch up don't actually show that much. I could see it if I pointed the light directly on it that there was a slight difference but after about a week of it being on the car I can't actually notice it anymore. So overall it looks good and it has quite a high gloss finish especially in um, sunlight or direct sunlight. You can It stands out quite a lot on the car and looks quite good. It's a nice contrast. So that's all for today guys. If you like this video please like it, share it and subscribe. Thanks for watching.